Hi Pisces, this is Sandy Couture and I am here doing the Astrological Tarot reading for the sign of Pisces for the month of November uh, 2020. And yay, 2020 is almost over. It's been quite a year, hasn't it? And astrologically, it's been quite a year also. Um, the planets of Pluto, Saturn, Pluto, Saturn, and Jupiter have all been conjunct most of the year, for the most part, off and on, um, in the sign of Capricorn. And those powers, when, when planets are conjunct in one sign, it gives their message and their energy an amplified version of what's going on. So Saturn is about, um, it's like a school, it's like a strict school marm, making sure you do what you need to do and making sure that what you're doing serves your highest and best good. Jupiter is about expansion, wanting to do more and, and being brilliant and having a good time. And Pluto is about transformation. All three of those have been together in Capricorn, which is a very serious sign. But all of that amplification of that has affected us all. Whether or not you have... Um, planets in Capricorn are not. Usually Capricorn is present in your natal wheel somewhere. So all of us have been affected by it. That's with all the inward looking and the, and the staying still and letting go of things that don't serve you has come in. But right now, those three planets have gone direct. They've been retrograde for a while, which has slowed everything down and made, amplified it. So they're go they've gone direct, which should make people breathe easier. And then in November, uh, Mars, planet of action goes direct and also Mercury goes direct. So everything should flow a little easier. Everything should move forward rather than being at a standstill. And um, that's good for all of us because I think it's time for that. The first card that I pulled for you, Pisces, is the Seven of Wands. And the Seven of Wands is um, is in a, in a lot of... Um, cards, the traditional cards shown as somebody protecting a door and, and wands are coming at him. You don't see the people behind it. And it's about standing up for what you believe in. So, you know, you've been taking a look at what you believe in and what's important in your life and what's serving you for the last six or eight months. We all have. So don't be afraid to stand up for your beliefs and move forward in what you feel is best for you. The surprise or challenge card is the four of earth or four of pentacles. And the four of pentacles asks us to be very conscious of where we're spending our resources. Um, pentacles are about monetary resources, but it could also uh, trickle out to emotional, physical resources as well. So this month, stand your ground, do what you need do what you feel is best for you, but be careful where your where your expenditures are going, be it physical, mental, or monetarily. The process card for this month is the Four of Air or the Four of Swords. And it's about taking the time to meditate on a decision. You don't have to, even if you're standing up for what you believe in and you're being careful where you're expending your energy, excuse me, towards it, you still want to uh, take, a, take time to consider what your movements are and where you're going and how you're going forward. So um, it's not about rushing in, you know, that old saying, fools rush in. It's about taking everything steady and making sure that you have made the best choices on how you're spending your energy for this month. <clears throat> and the outcome, excuse me, is the king of water. And, you know, this doesn't mean a king in a general reading. It's about um, opening your heart and being open to the wonderful possibilities that could be coming your way. If it were a private reading, it could be a person coming into your life. But um, this king represents trustworthy and heart, heartfelt advice or opening your heart to others or doing charity work. But... The message for you is to open your heart to opportunities that are going to show up that will help you to go in the path and in the direction that your desire is. And I think 
you have a very good chance of reaching it, Pisces. So hopefully that was helpful for all you Pisceans out there. I wish you a wonderful November and a happy Thanksgiving. Thank you for watching. If you like my videos, share them with your friends or share them on your social media. I would be very grateful. Have a wonderful month and thanks for watching.